guys, it's been about two hours since I hopped into Sales Navigator and lo and behold, it had a makeover. So I haven't done any exploring yet. You are going to come for the ride for the journey with me. So I don't even know what I'm going to find as I go through this. I do see that lead builder is gone and my tabs have changed. So there's the home tab, which is where I am right now. I also see my lists. So lists are my network. I guess this would be my first degree connections. Sales leads. So I have 128 leads saved. And my saved accounts. That's 135 saved accounts. So that's good. I know how to go in there. And it's kind of nice actually to be able to pop into my first degree connections. And I can actually drill down pretty quickly. Now this is something I did often uh, with Sales Navigator by choosing first degree connections, but that saves a little bit of uh, a search. And then I can click in and see change jobs, leads with team link mentioned in the news. All of this looks the same. So that's good. Posted in the past 30 days on LinkedIn. That gives you opportunities to engage with people, share experiences, and leads that follow your company. So that all looks about the same. I just got there much quicker by clicking through here. There is a Discover tab. This is interesting. My recommended leads and recommended accounts. And I can now go in, which I really love, and edit my sales uh, my search. So when, I don't know if you remember when you set up sales navigator for the first time, you got to answer all these questions, but it wasn't really simple or obvious how to go back and edit those. Now you can, that's pretty cool. I have admin, um, because I have the corporate account with Van Gresso. Uh, and it looks like here is my inbox. So I can go to my sales navigator inbox and see what's happening over there. Uh, and I can go into my LinkedIn inbox. So that hasn't changed too much. If I go over here, this is relatively new. This I can, ah, I can click back to linkedin.com. I can go to point drive from here. That's another video for another day and an amazing tool. And it looks like LinkedIn learning and some of the other things that you would find in regular linkedin.com are hanging out over here. I can see my settings. Ooh, let's go and see what my profile looks like if it looks any different than it did before. Actually not even letting me go to my profile from here. What if I put in my name? Remember, you're exploring this with me. So let's see, do profiles look any different? Oh, it still looks like that old profile. It has not updated the same way that it's updated in the free LinkedIn. It's still that old version of the profile. I can see people also viewed. Okay, so I just have to side note, start jumping up and down, get that Gary Vanderschuk is listed as people also viewed. They viewed him and me, that's a pretty nice day. Um, I can look down here, yep. So everything else looks the same. Now I'm going to look at my search bar. Well, this is quite interesting because it used to really want to take you to your lead builder, but right now it's saying search by keywords or Boolean. So I can put in my Boolean search and yep, that's going to bring up a whole bunch of people. So uh, that's just my search. I'm going to have to go down and drill it down. So typically I like to look at my second degree connections. If you know me, you know I like to live in my second degree connections. Who do I know that knows who I want to meet? And I can drill down further if I choose to. So if I'm going after a particular size company, I can go in here and drill down. Let's just pick one for now. It looks like all of these filters are the same as are uh, my tags. Uh, are also still there, although my looks like most of them have disappeared, which is slightly concerning because I had hundreds and hundreds so of people that have been tagged. So I have to go back and we'll play with that and see if that got changed. I can still save my search from here. So we're going to call this test for video. I'll probably 
uh, I can choose my alerts. Oh, look, we have a little more choices of alerts. Let's go back in and look at that. We can do daily, weekly, monthly, or never. I love that. So if I wanted to choose monthly, I could and save that. That's fantastic. That's a new change. And I can go in and look at my saved searches from here. This is nice because you used to have to open up Lead Builder, close the box, click on Save Search. So I'm actually pretty happy that the Save Search is here. That saves a whole lot of steps. And then these are the people that I am looking to engage with. These are my Save Searches. So that's a little tour of the new Sales Navigator. I do want to see all of the tags and that's still the same. Remember, never connect from here. You've got to click through if you if you want to send that personal note. So that's still here. I should test it. I'm afraid to test that on somebody. If there was someone I knew, I could. Um, maybe I'll go back. But I'm so these numbers are changing, and I'm wondering if it's just populating now. But this is my tag for introductions requested and there should be well over 150 here. So I am slightly concerned that in this uh, changeover that some of those tags disappeared, but we are going to have to figure that out. Either way, I like the way this works. I love having that save search right there. Uh, so guys, go into your sales navigator, play around with it. Your, your people also viewed is still here. That all looks pretty much the same, no changes there. So just a little bit of a, a makeover on the surface, a couple of extra benefits. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that uh, all the tags will populate soon. Uh, but go play around with your sales navigator. It's changed, but looks pretty good to me. Have a great day.